What's going on guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me this evening, morning, whenever you're at, afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys watch the video in full. That helps me grow, that helps me rank in search. Please, <laughs> let's, uh, as much as you can, even just let it play and you listen to it, I don't care. Uh, if you could let the video play in full, that does so much for my channel. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for the comments. Thank you guys so much for reaching out. Um, <clears throat> best way to reach me is through Instagram. I try and respond to as many messages as I can when I can. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm also the greatest real estate agent. <laughs> in this video, I wanna answer a question from one of you guys that left in a comment, which was a great suggestion. Thank you so much. Um, but let's talk about dress code. Uh, the dress code at Redfin, I haven't had any issues. Some showings I'm like this, but I make sure my shoes are boots are some type of dress shoe. Um, I don't ever uh, wear tennis shoes. I can give you guys that uh, disclaimer. My manager hasn't gotten on me about any type of dress code or anything like that. If you are a real estate agent in traditional real estate, you should already be coming dressed to impress. You're not only selling your brokerage, but you are selling yourself. So you wanna make sure that you are dressed to impress. I did have a friend before getting on at Redfin, um, did let me know when he had an interview with Redfin, he wasn't as dressed up as the interviewer was. <clears throat> so he kind of felt a disadvantage um, with that. So here at Redfin, it's not like a, a frown upon thing or it's not a, a thing that they really get on you about. It's just kind of a, a real estate expectance i guess you know if you expect to dress nice you expect to have your best appearance because like i said you are selling yourself um so at redfin you know i they do let you be you but you do want to represent yourself well no i'm not saying you have to wear a tuxedo but no matter where i'm at when it comes to real estate i always have a collar shirt on people understand you're not going to be in a suit all summer it's, it's, it's completely understandable, but it's just about showing that you woke up for the day and you're here to represent people. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty much that simple. As you guys can see on the Redfin website, a lot of us are dressed up snazzy. That's traditionally how we are with our clients. Now, I'm not saying every meeting and every showing, you have to be 100% snazzy dressed up. You just have to be presenting yourself um, like today I wore this shirt, jeans, and my brown boots, <clears throat> especially when I go into older homes. I don't know why. I just always like to wear boots to make sure, um, my feet are protected. I don't know. I don't like wearing hard bottoms in older homes, dust. It's just not a fun place for that type of attire. So, um, you know, I, when it comes to older homes and things like that, I, I do come more casual, but collar shirt boots <laughs> uh, i don't ever wear tennis shoes so that's pretty much you know as as much as i can give you as far as dress code it's 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 not that difficult now i am speaking from my manager's perspective uh, from from my interview i've always dressed to impress i've always dressed myself to sell myself and my manager has you know one never said anything but not every manager is the same. So I will make sure I put that out there. I have a great manager. I love my manager. He's great. He's very um, upfront, quick and simple, just like me. And so that, that it works great for me. I don't know about you guys. I don't wear earrings. I don't wear flashy jewelry. Um, obviously, I like to keep a, a nice watch, either Apple watch or I have another gold watch I like to wear. So is keeping it simple, right? I'm not trying to be flashy, but I'm here to sell myself and I'm here to help you. And I'm here to show you that I can represent you. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you have any more questions and if you have any more video suggestions, make sure you guys comment below or feel free to hit me on Instagram. That's the best way to reach me at Derek Real Estate.
okay? It's not that difficult. Don't let all these people tell you you gotta wear a three-piece suit. Listen to me. I work for Redfin. Um, I haven't had any issues with my dressing. I like to look good uh, when it comes to selling myself. I'm not gonna say that in an egotistical way, um, but I do like to look good and I do like to sell myself well. Um, per, on a personal level, I don't care for my appearance. Um, I don't care to be 100% snazzy all the time. Like I said, I like to look like I, I got up today. Um, but when it comes to real estate, I make sure that I am presenting myself in a, in a way that's just a little bit on the next level because I love helping people and I wanna make sure I look like the guy that's here to help and that's here to serve people in real estate. So that's pretty much the dress code, guys. It's not that you know crazy thing. There is a specific dress code to your photo. Let me get that out the way real quick. When it comes to your photo on the website, it does have to be a specific look. Obviously, they will give you a whole guide on what that look is when you get hired with Redfin, but there is a dress code for the photo. You can't have a tie, which hurt me because I love ties. I am a tie guy. Um, I'm not a bow tie really guy. You know, I'm not really a bow tie guy. So I love the ties, man. I got like a gang of ties. Yes, you can wear ties in the field. I'm not saying that this is just completely not a Redfin thing. It's just how they represent them, how they represent us on the website. So they don't do the ties. Um, you can wear a coat or you can wear a sweater over your collar shirt, but they don't do ties or bow ties. Um, it's really clean. You know, you, you, you check out the website. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Hey. Again, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys like this video, and let's grow together. I appreciate this community. We are growing so much. I get emails and I get messages all the time, and, it's, and I'm, I, I love answering those questions. So don't hesitate to reach out, guys. Stay safe. Take it easy.